like a drink eating drinking perfume <laughs> Something to say, there's something to say. Welcome back to my channel. You both see me wearing this in another video because I recorded two videos today. So, well, this is the second video that I'm recording today. So, today I decided to fill my fragrance collection. So, my favorite fragrance collection. Um, so, I have quite a few perfumes I want to talk about today. Um, some favorites i'll be honest if i really don't like it but I, you know sometimes you buy perfume and you end up not liking it i'll be very honest with the ones that i do really like and the ones i don't really like um but it's still obviously part of my collection because i already have it um and then i also want to include a very like um kind of controversial perfume because it is um pretty similar and i can say so um with confidence that I smelled both of them and worn both of them and I can say that it is definitely a pretty good dupe to Maison Francis Jack Baccarat 540 <laughs> I don't know if I said that correctly, let me check Maison Francis Jack. let's see Jack. that's the part that I'll be fucking up I'm in here, Jane. Uh, I don't know if you guys follow or ever watch Jeremy fragrances on Instagram, but oh, not Instagram, sorry, YouTube. But yeah, he's mad entertaining. But he, I love the way he says it, so I'm gonna listen to it. Maison Francis Cook John's. Cook John. Maison Francis Cook John. Okay. Maison Francis Cook John. Um, we're just gonna call it M F K. Yeah, M F K. So there is a bit of a dupe to M F K here. Um, the Baccarat 540, infamous, infamous, super popular scent right now. So yeah, let's let's just get into the video. The so, first fragrance here I want to talk about, which is Kat Von D's Saint. Um, so this scent is a part of Kat Von D. She's a she has a makeup line um and she also has perfume now i think she has candles as well so this is she has um she launched two perfumes at the same time this is saint and there's a black one same exact packaging just in black and it's called sinner and it's more of like a warm spicy scent i didn't really like it but this one so this fragrance is a part of the florals fragrance family um the key notes in this is vanilla musk and jasmine so very pretty like if you're a person who like vanilla then i think you will really like this scent because you do you definitely pick up that vanilla but it's still pretty floral so i would i will agree with the fragrance family that they that the people who made the perfume put it in um so kind of like a description of this fragrance it is described to be like dreamy romantic it has the delicious like mandarin caramel sort of vanilla sandalwood creamy musk sort of scent that's kind of how it's described so pretty um kind of like a like a like a soft vanilla slightly floral it's not super floral but it's definitely present um i'm gonna spray it because I, I think that's what i should do to yeah so like the initial aromas is slightly floral but as it sits, you pick up that very pretty vanilla, sort of creamy, caramelly scent to it. Pretty, like a subtle sweetness at the ending. This smells really fucking good. It smells so good. Like, I will highly recommend this. Also, the price range. Mmm. I keep smelling it. It smells so good. Um, the price range is from $45 to $85, not including, like, the travel size that most perfumes come with and it's currently on sale so i purchased this on sale i think i paid like 20 but 30 bucks for this um it's been on sale for a long time so i'm i'm which is leading me to believe that it's probably being discontinued but if you can go to sephora or go online and just purchase this it's so cheap if you like vanilla if you like slightly floral scents you just like kind of soft warm pretty scents it's very pretty um definitely give this a shot I'm, i swear to you you won't be disappointed and it is so cheap because it's on 
um, sale. The one thing I can say is that the longevity isn't, it's not like, which makes sense, look at the price range, even with it not on sale, it doesn't even hit $100. So the longevity isn't quite there, but it does last a decent amount of time, I won't lie. It's, it's pretty decent. So I've been using this, um, I kind of took a break from it because I'm like, I'm kind of been switching it up a little bit but i wear this for work like this is kind of like my work set very pretty just it you know it's very it's a it's a it's simply put it's a very pretty scent that's like the best way i could describe it to be honest it's like slightly floral but the end notes are pretty vanilla like soft vanilla that's like the best way to describe it um so yeah more of like a work scent not necessarily something that i would wear to go like out on a date or something like that i would but not like i just wear for work that's kind of the best way to put it um and this is also want to kind of cover um that this is an audi perfume and i want to make sure i'm saying that correctly actually switch for duster super extender extends up to six feet to oh, the parfum. Oh, the parfum. Be fine in english or american to say oh the parfum oh, oh the parfum, the parfum. For Oh, the parfum. Okay, so like a drink, eating, drinking perfume. Oh, the parfum. I might be saying that wrong. I'm not French, so. But the biggest difference between like a all the perfume and a all the toilette is. Don't quote me on this because I may not be right, but I believe all the perfume has a higher oil than alcohol content versus eau de toilette perfume which is just pure perfume has the most oil content which essentially means it will last longer the longevity will be there the scent will stick around like the scent will be more like a stronger scent and it will last longer so it's perfume eau de perfume eau de toilette then bath and body works nah i don't know i don't i it's more sh i'm sure there's more different categories but the main ones i'm going to be talking about today is all the perfume or the toilet so all the toilet have a little bit less oil hence probably a little less longevity than all the perfume so i think that's right but if i'm wrong comment below and let me know all right moving on perfume i want to talk about is gucci bloom so this is she Gucci Bloom. So Gucci Plum Bloom also is a Eau de Perfume. So I have a lot of Eau de Perfumes here. The fragrance family, of course, is, guess, floral. It's called Bloom. <laughs> um, the key notes is Rangoon Creeper, Jasmine Bud, and Tuberose. I don't know what any of that stuff is, but it can be described as um, like a white floral fragrance on the skin um and then it finishes it's infused with a powdery floral edge when it sets so it's pretty florally but it the, the end note of it is can be a bit soft that's what i take from the description where it says powdery finish so it can be soft so this is definitely a floral scent i would definitely agree with that it's the longevity that's one thing i really like about this perfume is that the longevity is there and the price range is from 75 to 130 i think i have the medium i have the medium size which is probably i think it's like 120 something like that no because the the 3.4 i think is this is probably oh this is 100 it's 100 dollars um so what I would say is that the longevity is definitely there. It it definitely lasts a good amount of time on, on your clothing for sure. Because I remember the first time I wore, I wore a hoodie and I want to say like three days later I could still smell it on the hoodie. So that's, that's pretty good if you ask me. Um, it is floral and floral sometimes can sound pretty grannyish. and I think my best friend said she thinks it smells like grandma but it doesn't it smells good okay take my word for it <laughs> um, yeah so it is it is definitely floral that's the 
I mean, yeah, it's it's a floral scent. That's it, it's floral, but when it sets, when the scent, when the fragrance kind of set, it does have that powdery. Yeah, I would agree with the description. It does have almost like a powdery finish, which is pretty soft. Um, I do really like this scent. Um, it's I wouldn't. I'm trying to think if I would wear it for spring. It's a fall scent. I didn't like I didn't mention this one is definitely I would say a summer sort of scent or year round I mean you can do whatever you want to do with your perfume wear it whenever you want but if I had to categorize it I would say this is a fall scent um very it's a, it's a very very pretty scent <laughs> I would keep saying that because it is it's, it's pretty what you want me to say it's a very pretty scent I I really like it I don't wear a lot I don't wear it often but yeah, I would say it's a nighttime fall scent. Like, it's a date scent. Like, I would wear this on a date. Yeah, I would. I like it. Check it out. Go to like, I don't know. It is, is it an Sephora? I bought it from Bloomingdale's. Sephora probably has it. And you could still, you could like, even though like it's a pandemic and everything, you could still smell stuff at Sephora. So I would definitely check it out if you can. So let's move on to this one is probably the prettiest like more luxe packaging than anything else i have here and this is a ysl libre very very pretty packaging this is like something you want to put in the front of your vanity the ysl libre is in eau de perfume so have a little bit more longevity compared to the toilet like i mentioned before um, it is categorized to be in the fragrant in the floral family. Um, the key notes is lavender essence, orange blossom, and musk accord. Um, let me see if I agree with that. I haven't actually smelled this in a while. I haven't used it in a while. Spray it on this head scarf. Yeah. You could definitely smell the orange blossom. Yeah, so you could definitely smell the orange blossom. I don't, I would say I pick up a tinge of lavender. Not a lot, and I'm not a, lav a fan of lavender usually. And I, I do, I will say it is definitely more of a, it's a nighttime scent, which I always associate nighttime scents with a little bit more warmth. Like I have a little bit more of a warm, musky scent to it. The finish of it, at least, it was a little bit more warm and musky. Um, the fragrance description is it pretty much combines lavender essence from France with the sex sensuality of Morocco orange blossom. It makes a unique floral fusion by a daring note of musk accord. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> but it is it, it definitely is floral, um, but it still has that sexy nighttime scent to it, like that sexy nighttime musk to it. It's definitely a nighttime scent. I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily wear, wear this in the day unless I'm going to like a day party or something like that. But it's definitely a nighttime scent so it's more sexy that yeah it's sexy i would definitely describe libre as sexy um so let's move on oh the price range for this is between 80 and 32 dollars and this is the middle size so this is probably i don't know maybe a hundred dollars i'm not sure 80 like a hundred i would think it's a hundred I don't know. I don't know how much this is, but this is a 1.6 um, ounce. I personally prefer buying fragrances in that middle size. One ounce for me is a little bit too small. 1.6 or 1.7 is perfect. 3.2 is pretty big. I would buy a 3.2 if I really like a fragrance. If I, re I use it, I know it, I love it. I just bought that big scent. But usually I like to go for the one point six one point seven however they categorize it and all three of these are that one point six one point seven so perfect moving on so now we're gonna move on to something I actually am not a fan of so I just 
I know a, it does, it's like a cult classic. Like a lot of people love this scent. It's very popular. It's one of YSL's most popular scent. And it is the Black Opium. Also all the perfumes. So the fragrance family of this is warm and spicy, which I definitely will agree. It is definitely a spicy scent. The keynote is black coffee, white flowers, and vanilla. It is described to be having the opening notes of coffee with a sweetness of vanilla, and then it reclines into a softness of like a floral. So it's like the opening notes is coffee, the middle notes is vanilla, the final notes is like a white floral. I'm not even gonna spray it because I know what this smell like. <sighs> I don't like it. It sounds like it smells good as fuck, right? Like it smell, it sounds good. Like coffee, I love the scent of coffee. It has that vanilla, I love vanilla. That white floral, when you hear white floral, you automatically think soft, sort of like a soft floral. I don't know if I would agree with that and I don't even want to spray it to refresh my memory because I just don't like this scent. It is so full. I probably use it a total. I get, I get fragrance it's fair shot. Like you want to use it more than once. I mean some fragrances you can use it once and you know for sure you don't like it. This one I just don't like it. It is very old. It is very grandma. Like if my friend, if Danielle thought this was grandma, she smell like shit. She don't think this is grandma for real. This is very old lady-ish. I just don't like it um some of you guys may really be a big fan of black opium but i am not i don't like it in fact if any of you guys do use black opium and you like it i will be more than happy to send this to you more than happy i, mean, I didn't even pay for this like i get um ysl perfumes for free so i even pay for this so you can have it <laughs> like i will be more than happy my nose is so terrible i don't even want to show them. I'll be more than happy to mail this to you for free. So my camera cut off, but but yeah, pretty much. Long story short, I don't like this perfume. So somebody can have it. <laughs> All right, moving on to the next perfume, which is going to be Burberry Brit. So this is also an eau de perfume. And of course, as you can see, I got the big guy in this one. This is a 3.4 ounce. And Burberry Brit is a part of the fresh fragrance family. Uh, the keynotes is Italian lime, icy pear, green almond, white peony, sugared almonds, amber, mahogany, vanilla, and tonka beans. So I would agree with every single note in this fragrance. It smells so good. So it's described as fresh and playful. It has lush fruits, sweet nutty essence, soothing amber and vanilla. Um, yes, I would 100% agree with everything listed. It is a very, very soft scent. Like it's very soft. It has a slight sweetness to it, but you also do pick up those um vanilla sort of nutty aromas definitely fresh but still sweet and warm at the same time like that that's the best way to describe it so it's fresh but sweet and warm at the same time like you can you can actually and i'm smelling that right now you can actually like literally smell every layer the top notes that which is the initial scent when you spray it that middle note where when the mist starts fading and then the, the scent is, st is starting to settle you can pick that up which is sweet which is nice and sweet and then the end note is like warm but sweet and fresh like, I don't know, i'm probably doing a terrible job at just doing like the description but of oh, all these perfumes but it is a very very pretty scent and as you can see I've used quite a bit of this and I've smelt this perfume um, was at work. It was a coworker. She didn't work at my location, but she was covering at my location and she was leaving for the day. And I guess she like refreshed her perfume because she was going out. And like when she walked past, like I just smelled the wind. And I smelled it and I was like, oh my God, like, that smells so. And I never asked people like what scent they're wearing or like 
what like I don't ask people anything like I just don't know not a lot of people like what people ask what they're wearing or where they got something from so I'm just not one to really ask but I had to ask her because it smelled so good I had to ask and she was like yes Burberry Brit she ended up getting hers from like um, a thrift shop for like 12 bucks so I went ahead and purchased this I think I bought this on like Nordstrom or somewhere like Nordstrom Bloomingdale's I know it was a Sephora but yes very pretty soft scent like you like you'll hear me hear me keep saying the same thing over and over because my like my taste and style and perfumes is I love a softness I don't typically go for those like really strong like super aggressive like you can smell it so like Mm, it's just up your nostrils like I don't really go for that like I like very soft but present scent like I want the scent to last but I want it to be soft like it could have a bit of floral it can have a bit of sweetness to it um I love fresh definitely like fresh scents I really love fresh for summer and spring and then I love more warm musky scents for winter and fall but it could be a combination of all those things but as long as it's nice and soft like the finish the the, the uh, final note is soft then I'm um, like it's for me so it definitely lasts a good amount of time it's like the it's not the most long-lasting perfume but it, it's there like you won't have to worry about like you can spray your clothes and then you you'll, you'll smell the same those clothes the next day and you'll still be able to smell it not super like pungent in there but it'll still smell like the perfume um so yeah moving on to okay so this is this scent is near and dear to my heart so um it is called Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Italian Zest. So Italian, look how much I have left. <laughs> so Italian Zest is a pretty newer formula of the original Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. So Light Blue is a scent that I, that is, that scent brings back so much memories because that was actually the first perfume I ever wore, ever like, yeah, I ever wore in my life. So I started wearing that scent in high school. My mom had it. And I like sprayed it one day and I fell in love with it. It is so fresh and clean. Like literally it's like the most fresh, cleanest scent ever. The Italian zest has a more lemon, like more of a lemon zest to it. So it's still like, it still smells like the original Dolce & Gabbana light blue, but a little bit more citrus, a little bit more of like a lemon zest to it. But yeah, Dolce & Gabbana light blue, that it takes me back takes me back to my high school days i ended up putting on all my best friends to that set and i think all three of them still wear dosing gabbana light blue to this day like my mom put me on and i put them on and then we all was like smelling the same in high school um but we all fell in love with it and it's just like it's it smells so good i only have a little bit of this left and this is a 3.4 ounce if i'm not mistaken and i think i paid 104 for this and clearly i lost the top clearly look how much i have left like clearly i love this scent this is what i smelled like in high school it's so clean oh my god it's like so clean so crisp it's just like i think they actually discontinued the italian zest i don't know why but this smells good but even if you can't find italian zest i can still smell it even if you can't find italian zest definitely go to sephora and check out light blue it is like if you're the type of person that just like very clean fresh crisp scents you are going to love light blue you're gonna love it it smells so good it's described oh i'm even i'm there yak in my mouth this is a eau de toilette so again like the longevity isn't quite there um it audit toilet means that it has higher alcohol content versus oil that's what I, I think so and it is a part of the fresh floral um family i would just characterize this as fresh to be honest but it according to sephora is fresh floral the keynotes are lemon green apple bellflower um, lemon verbena bergamot cedar amber vanilla sandalwood 
it just sounds like it smells good. Like all of those different notes, it just sounds like it smells good. I swear this, it smells so freaking good. It is described as a brightened by tangy citrus. Um, the top notes are cedar, Granny Smith, apple. Um, it's fruity, it's juicy. It has a glowing white rose and jasmine um, in this, the heart of the scent. And then it trails off to an ambery, warm, musky scent. Um, yeah, so it, it smells so good. Like, I swear, it smells so good. Please go to Sephora. If you, this is a classic, this is an OG scent, light blue. Not necessarily the Italian zest, but light blue is an OG scent. So I feel like a lot of people probably smelled it before. If you have, comment below and let me know what you think of it. If it's one of your faves or if you, it's not up your alley. But let me know. But I love it. It's so near and dear to my heart. It reminds me of, like, high school. It reminds me of my youth and, like, having fun with my friends. And it just, it brings me back to a really good place in life so i it's it's very near and dear to my heart um so yeah i told you the price and then moving on to the next scent so the next one i have is a part of the atelier cologne um line and this is a little guy it is a one ounce i got this in a gift set like i bought a set that had this as the main like this size and then a bunch of these small like travel it's like it was like five of these and then this in the center so it is a one ounce which i'm fine with i don't really like one getting one ounce like i mentioned i prefer like that medium size but it was one that i was trying for the first time i haven't even smelled it before i bought it so the one ounce is fine um this one is the clementine california and this is a cologne absolute pure perfume spray so it's not and all the perfume or toilet. So I think cologne is even lower, like a lower tier than toilet. So it's even less oil, I think. Um, it is a part of the fresh fragrance family. The keynotes are vetiver, clementine, and star anise. It is described to have clementine notes, um, juniper berries from Turkey, vetiver from Haiti. It's fresh and fruity. Um, it is a citrus cologne for men and women, so it is a unisex scent. Um, it can be described as like a summer scent that evokes sunshine, blue skies, endless miles of sparkling beachfront. And the price range is from $80 to $235. So this is the $80 size. Um, yes, I would describe this as fresh for sure. Yeah, very fresh very clean definitely smell that clementine like orange citrus set to it definitely a summer scent um very soft the longevity definitely isn't there like i could like spritz myself up like my clothes up um for work and i feel like i'm very close up right now and i think it's because my camera cut off a few times but whatever um the longevity isn't there, but it's still a pretty scent. It's still it's still nice for work or or if you're the type of person that have a very sensitive nose, you don't really do well with perfume overall because they um, bother you throughout the day. This may be a good one for you to try because um, it is soft and it's you smell it, but it's not overwhelming if that makes sense. But it's very clean. You smell like you definitely pick up the clementine like that's mostly what i smell it's like an orangey sort of citrus scent but still clean like super super clean um some honorable honorable mentions a part of the atelier line is definitely the vanilla incense is really good that one smells really good and then also the cedar atlas i was gonna get this the other day and then I decided to get something else but this one is definitely the cedar atlas is a little bit more cologne -y, so it smells a little bit more manly which i don't i'm not a, opposed to for winter i do kind of like that um more deeper a little bit more of a masculine sexy scent for night like date night like nighttime so i do really like that one so i'm gonna pick up both of these i do get atelier for 50 percent off so i'm gonna get these two and there's another one that's called santal something that one is like 
I, I'm pretty sure it's a slightly different formula than these because the price point is a lot higher. I think it's like $260 for that perfume. And that one smells really good. And I get 50% off Atelier, so I'm just going to get all three. Um, so uh, I'll probably update. If you guys are interested, I can once I get like the other scents, because I will talk about other scents that I plan on getting. Um, if you guys want to update on that on Instagram, I could do that if you guys are interested. But yeah, moving on. So the next scent I want to talk about is part of, so I have two scents. I'm going to be talking about both of them back to back. So it's a part of the, um, what is it called? The Mace, Mason Martin Margiela replica line. And I have Lazy Sunday Morning here, which is almost finished. And I broke the top on this one. So that's why I stopped using it. And then I also have Sailing Day which is also a part of the replica line. So what makes the replica line pretty unique is a collection of different scents that's supposed to evoke like a personal memory, if that makes sense. Um, so like for instance, this one is called Lazy Sunday Morning. The fragrance description is soft skin and bed linen. So to be honest, the scent reminds me of back in middle school or high school when it's a Monday morning or Tuesday morning or like a school day and I wake up super early in the morning and I'm not feeling well or I lie and say I'm not feeling well and I tell my mom I don't feel well to go to school she's like okay you could go back to sleep you know whatever you could take the day off and then I'm like laying in bed and I don't actually go back to sleep because I'm about to watch Jerry Springer or you know regular shit and I'm just laying in bed and the sun is coming through my window I'm laying on clean bed sheets and it's just very reminiscent of that like I can I vividly can remember being up super early in the morning because as a kid eight o'clock seven seven eight o'clock in the morning is very fucking early um being up that early and just laying in bed and you just smell the bed sheets and the sun is coming out even if it's winter like that sun is just like hitting your face or hitting the bed and it's just very reminiscent of that to me so i think it's an eau de perfume it is a part of the floral fragrance uh the floral fragrance family the keynotes is lily of the valley iris white musk um and it's described to have that classic floral scent it it's supposed to evoke the feeling of waking up in the sun's morning rays a breath of fresh air so it's pretty crisp it celebrates purity freedom and the joy of sleeping in so I 100% agree 100% agree it is the style description is a female fragrance which I will definitely agree with that it's just very clean it's like a like a fresh pile of laundry like fresh linen sheets freshly washed and you're just laying there with the sun shining on you that's the best way to describe this perfume very soft very very soft the longevity of this scent is definitely not there so again it's really good just like i mentioned for this one it's good for those people who have a very sensitive nose and they don't typically wear perfume because it irritates them definitely look into lazy sunday morning super super soft super soft clean bed sheets <laughs> um then that takes me right into the next replica scent, which is Sailing Day, which this one is actually an eau de perfume. So it is not a toilet like the Lazy Sunday Morning. This is um, a part of the Fresh Fragrance family. The keynotes are Aquatic Accord. Aquatic. Aqu aquatic. Aquatic. Aquatic <laughs> Accord Coriander Red Seaweed Essence. I don't know what that is, but very oceany, I guess the way you could describe it. Um, it is the fragrance description is female and male. I definitely would agree with that. It has a bit of a cologne scent, but still very, very pretty. It's very clean, very clean, crisp ocean scent this scent reminds me of fire island um usually every summer i go to um fire island with my boyfriend and his mom and his like family um they have a beach house out there and we usually go every summer we ain't going this summer because of 
fucking COVID. But whatever. Um, but that's what it reminds me of. Like waking up early in the morning on the beach, um, at the beach house, and you just smell the fresh, crisp air of the bay in the front of the house, the beach is behind it, and you just smell like just crisp ocean scent. Not like fishy ocean, you know what I'm saying? Not fishy, but like crisp ocean scent. That is like the best way to describe it. It's very clean, very crisp. It has that slight cologne sort of scent to it at the ending. So a man can use it if they wanted to. Um, I would I would consider, I would wear the, although it's very crisp, very clean. I like the color, it's blue like the ocean. Um, I would wear, I could wear that at night. I could wear that for a date. Borderline daytime scent, but I, I could wear it at night because of that slight musky, manly scent at the end. Then. But yeah, very clean, very crisp, love it. I don't know if the longevity is there because I haven't worn this enough to, to like take a mental note of it, but I do really like it. And I got, I got this pretty recent, so moving on. Um, Oh, and this is $130. So this is the Maison Francis Jack Gentoo Fluidity Gold. So this is an eau de perfume. This is the packaging. So I'm like about to take it out of the packaging here. It is a part of the warm and sexy fragrance family. The keynotes are juniper berries, nutmeg, coriander, musk, ambery, woods, and vanilla. So what makes this scent very unique is this was also launched with Gentle Fluidity Silver. This is gold and it was also silver. And what was so unique and so like cool, I thought it was so freaking cool, is that both gold and silver had the exact key notes. It had the exact ingredients. But what he did was he switched the percentage of ingredients. So like maybe less juniper berries in one more coriander in the other he pretty much just changed the percentage of the ingredients but still the same ingredients which gave them completely two different scents it's crazy like i smelled the um the silver and i did not like it it's very um sharp and metallic like that's the best way to describe it. it's very sharp very metallic you almost second guess if they have the same ingredients in them but the gold i do love i do love this it um it's described to have like an overdose of overdose of musk and vanilla i have floral but spicy notes with like an ambery wood vanilla accord it's just like it smells so so pretty sexy slightly sweet it's definitely like that grown woman scent like like you smell like an adult like you walk into a room and you're like all right she's an adult yeah she's she a grown woman she ain't a little kid <laughs> um I love this. It smells so good. It is very pricey though. This is ranged from $225 to $415. So it's very, very, very expensive. Um, the longevity, I, I wore this a few times. The longevity I would say is there. Um, the one thing I could definitely say about a lot of the scents that I've smelled from um, MFK, including Baccarat. I actually got this from Jeremy Fragrances. I referenced him a little bit earlier in this video, but he described Baccarat as um, offensive, but present. He said it's something along those lines. Like it's an unoffensive scent, but it's present. It's there. Like you, it's rare that a person next to you would feel, will smell it and be like, oh, I don't like it. Or it'll offend their nose or, you know, like sometimes you walk into a room where you're next to a person and their perfume is just so overbearing and it's just like, ugh, like you're giving me a headache, go away. It's not like that. It's very unoffensive, but very present. And that's how I would also describe, I would agree with Baccarat being unoffensive, but very present, but I also will um, say that Gentle Fluidity Gold is in that same category. It's very present, but it's super soft. It's so unoffensive, very pretty, very soft, 
very sexy grown woman scent period um so yeah i i love it i'm so happy i went along with getting this so my like i just had a dilemma whether i wanted to do this get this one or get bach rot because it's like such a popular scent but through my research i was just like you know what i'm gonna go for gentle fluidity because i don't know a lot of people that use it and um i just kind of wanted something different like i don't want to smell like potentially smell like somebody else you know what i'm saying like it that's it's not that's not that big of a deal for me but it, it is something that crossed my mind so i was like i'm gonna go ahead and get gentle fluidity try this one out hopefully i like it if i didn't like it i was just gonna return it or exchange it for baccarat if you know i like baccarat but um i'm happy i went along with this one because i it, I, i'm definitely not disappointed even in the price um the like with the price i'm not disappointed i don't regret purchasing it i do like it and i will use it for special events or special like a date night or like special occasions i wouldn't use this for work like every day is so expensive i'm not about to fly through my, my perfume like i'm not um so definitely if you are on the market to try mfk definitely consider this one also just to kind of give you so this is also i think something that's going to be very useful and it was a very it was very useful information for me so on the mfk website you can actually purchase samples from them so you can purchase four samples of your choice and it's 14 dollars or something like that uk but when you do the like the 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 exchange to us it's like 16 dollars and change for four samples it came pretty quickly it comes through dhl i got um baccarat in the extract extract the perfume as well as the the Audi perfume i got satin mood which is a part of the oud line and this is this is how they look when you get them so like very like you know when you shop at like bloomingdale's or nordstrom and they send you perfume it's like in this and then i also got velvet mood which is a part of the oud line this stinks i don't like that it smells so bad but um i decided to do this because i was just like doing my research on mfk and i came across a video where someone was saying that it's actually going to be beneficial to you to purchase samples because these are very very expensive perfumes not saying that they're not worth the price but the reality is it's very expensive um so you can purchase the samples and immediately when you order the samples they send you a coupon in the cost of how much you're paying for the sample so if you do happen to like one of the four cents you have a coupon to apply that to your purchase so essentially you get the samples for free unless you don't purchase anything then you just lose that 16 bucks but that is i think is a genius 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 uh like tactic that mfk is doing um so yeah, I, I decided to do this because I wanted to smell Baccarat to see what the hype was about. Um, but I didn't necessarily want to just purchase it just off because everybody else like it and everybody else is wearing it. So that was a way for me to try it, see how I like it. Baccarat, I do like. I do like it. It is, I'm not wowed by it though. For the price point, I'm definitely not wowed and I've used it four times already so i feel like four times is a good enough time a good enough amount of time for me to really decide if it's worth the price point or not i don't want to say it's not worth worth the price point because i've noticed and what i've learned through research and fragrance is that the price point for a perfume isn't necessarily just the ingredients that they're putting together to make the perfume you're also paying for the knowledge of the person who's creating the fragrance you're 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 paying for the knowledge the people who have studied perfume and scents for years upon years you're paying for that knowledge so i don't ever want to like say that it's not worth the price or you know i don't i don't want to disrespect anyone's brand in that way but it is very expensive that is the truth that's the reality of it and for me i do like it but i'm not 100 percent sure if i'm going to invest in it if that makes sense like i might just to have it i'm not 100 percent sure like i'm not that i'm not that suede if that makes sense like it's it, it does smell good but does it smell good for me to spend 400 dollars? i'm not quite sure that's the truth um which now it's going to lead me into my final fragrance i feel like i've been like sitting here 
fucking inhaling and eating perfume for like an hour. So my final perfume, and this perfume I can definitely say is a very similar to MFK's Baccarat 540. I will say the initial scents are very similar, but once they sit on the skin, they do smell slightly different. So I'm not gonna say it's a complete doppelganger, it's not, but it is very similar. If you do like the same aromas and the same notes, the same scents, like initial scent, Forget the keynotes, because the keynotes are very different. I'm gonna go through this perfume that I'm talking about right now. I'm gonna go through the keynotes, but if you like that initial like sp psh, spray of Baccarat sniff, it's like, okay, this smells good, then you will like this perfume. So, this perfume is Ariana Grande's Cloud. Yes, Ariana Grande, the singer. <laughs> Ariana Grande, I was trying to hit an Ariana Grande note, but Ariana Grande singer, her perfume, which is Cloud, and it's so funny that this is um, so similar to Baccarat because it looks so kitty and cheesy to something so like expensive and luxurious and the packaging of Baccarat is so like simple and like expensive and luxe. To like compare it to like fucking cloud perfume like are you kidding me this is really cute though because um the cloud is actually a perfume holder so this is really what the perfume looked like and this is just to hold it in place so all right ariana grande cloud is described to be a part of the oriental fragrance family the keynote is lavender pear bergamot coconut praline vanilla orchid and cashmere it is described to be inspiring, dreamy, playful, uplifting. It's addictive scent. It opens up with a dreamy blend of alluring vanilla blossom, forbidden juicy pear, mouth-watering mouth bergamot. And then the heart of it is like a whipped creme de coconut, indulgent praline, exotic vanilla, sensual musk, creamy woods out of cashmere. That's Reduces the senses. Like this description is very sexual. Um, the price range is from forty-four to sixty-four dollars. Okay, it is fucking cheap. I got the middle size, which was fifty-five, I think. And I don't know if you can tell right here. I don't know if you can see, but I've used quite a bit, and I've only had it. I want to say for a month. Yeah, like a month. This perfume smells like fucking baccarat bro like it does it it does in my opinion i mean some people disagree which is cool some people disagree i'm gonna smell baccarat this is baccarat no this is not baccarat this is the oh this is i'm gonna spray it on one side and i'm gonna spray cloud right there very freaking similar. When they set, Cloud is more sweet. The Like when it sets, the final notes is a little bit more sweet for sure. Versus Baccarat isn't as sweet. It's, it's definitely like they smell very similar. It's just that like Cloud is a little bit sweeter and Baccarat is a little less sweet. But but they smell pretty similar for a perfume to be freaking 300 dollars compared to 64 if we want to talk about the biggest size of cloud which is 64 dollars for some people more convincing to go for the cheaper version that smells similar compared to like the 400 dollars 300 dollars version of perfume but again like i was saying like you're not only just paying for the simple ingredients of the perfume you're also paying for longevity you're you're paying for the knowledge of the perfumer behind the perfume behind the fragrance um so it's a lot that comes a lot of finer details that comes into play um but what i will say i'm not going to depreciate the value of mfk um but what i will say is that if you simply put if you want something similar some, some of you guys may disagree, may think that it smells nothing alike, but if you want something similar, um, 
definitely consider cloud like i would say you could get both because what i'm thinking about doing if i do get if i do purchase the baccarat i will have that scent as a going out special occasion scent versus cloud i would wear every like more of an everyday scent if that makes sense you know um but yeah so definitely i would check cloud out it smells very pretty very similar to baccarat of course it's not a hundred percent identical doppelganger perfume i'm not saying that but what i am saying is that they are very similar the initial scent is very similar but once both perfumes settle on the clothing or the skin it does smell you can then tell the difference if that makes sense but they are similar enough <laughs> so yeah so that is pretty much it um, yeah we covered 11 fragrances today um i would love to know what scents you guys like if you like any of the ones i use if you plan to try any of the ones that i'm that i spoke about today let me know what you think about mfk if you have any of his perfumes um if you have baccarat if you have a cloud let me know what you think um or just let me know some of your favorites like i've been really obsessed with perfume lately it's like i like I'm just always wanting to purchase new perfume. You know, some drop some of your favorites below because I'm gonna check out whatever you guys suggest. I'm gonna check it out as well because I do want to expand my perfume collection. It's pretty good now. I'm very happy with where it is, but I am definitely interested in trying some new perfume. I also want to mention Bond Number no. Nine has some amazing perfumes as well. My favorite from them is Spring Fling, so I do plan on getting that. Nolita is really good as well. Um, Central Park West, I think, is the other one that I really like. So definitely check out Bond of Nine. Their fragrance, like their perfumes, the longevity is is unmatched. Like they're really expensive too, but um, I definitely plan on getting a few of those. Um, Baccarat, I may get it. Still, still trying to decide if I want to want to get it or not. Um, yeah, so that that is pretty much it. Uh, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. You know the gist. I'm gonna say every video. Comment, like, subscribe, thumbs up. You know, you you know the deeds. So, um, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys on the next video.